John Bollinger with Premier Guitar, and I'm with Lindsay L. at the Bridge Zone. Lindsay, John, good to see you. John, it's ya. so good to see you. Last time we were together, we were actually in this room. We were in this room <laughs> playing in this very venue. We yeah. were, yes. That was awesome. And you had that guitar. And I had this guitar. This is my number one guitar, as, I, as we all do. We go through seasons, I feel. Yeah. And so this is my number one right now. It's, um, it's something that Brad Paisley actually built for me. Um, he gave it to me as a gift for the last show we did on tour. We toured wow. with Paisley most of last year. And we were talking about Mary Kay strats throughout the tour just because, yeah. of course, they're pink and they have gold hardware sure. and they're from the 50s. And I'm like, man, one day, because he was like, what, was your, what would be your dream guitar, Lindsay? And I'm like, a Mary Kay strat would be pretty cool. So, of course, last show of the tour, he shows up with this thing and he got all the parts sent to him from Fender and put it together himself and then relicked it himself. Wow. And you know, sometimes you see some of the new relics come and yeah. and they don't look as That looks legit. Like a 50s and Brad yeah. has the real thing of course. And so yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's able to be like, "All right, yeah. well we need this this mark from my keys and he said he put it in the freezer and then put it by a fire." And so so yeah, um his what name a great is, guy. is is Herbert because <laughs> he looks like Sherbert. Yeah. So uh yeah, I name all my guitars. But yeah. um but yeah, this is this is my number one. Wow, how could it not be? You know, um, I know that uh, I saw a thing he did with with um, with Mare. Yeah. And he gave Mare this Paisley Strat. Are you serious? That's so amazing. I guess so. Play with Brad Paisley. Yeah, that, Brad. That's, that's the takeaway. Brad's a generous man. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, that's it, well, and how great that it's your number one. It's, yeah, I, I bring them with me everywhere, and um, it just you know has vintage custom pickups and. It just, it, it feels right. Yeah, well that is fabulous. Okay, yeah. gonna be hard to beat that, but let's look I at know. some of the others' less favorites. Okay, <laughs> the other less favorites. So, I'm not a painter at all, I'm a musician, but when I recorded my last album, I wanted, I wanted everything to live on in ways other than just music. So sure. I was like, well, what if I painted a Strat for every song on my record? So I started painting guitars. Oh, wow. And I painted this. As you can see, it's not a professionally done job. I kind of love it. <laughs> but I painted one guitar for every song. So there's 12 different painted guitars out there in the universe okay, um, for my first record. Jack, with your controls, can you so still? <laughs> this was the first one I ever did. So I literally put acrylic paint over top of the pickups, which I must say, there's something about acrylic paint over pickups like this humbucker is even like a little bit more throatier really? and there's just like a cool sound to it so i was using this guitar for most of the summer last year and as you can see paint's chipping off around the tone pot yeah and it still works i mean thank no. the lord because <laughs> paint was dripping like everywhere inside of it but uh but this 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 was wow. my baby for a long time and fender saw me sweet billy saw me playing this and saw paint chipping it off so he surprised me one day with this oh. and he scanned in my design that i painted and sent me this so that i could play it on the road and it wouldn't chip off so which one sounds better you know it's <laughs> crazy they totally sound different yeah I um that. i love this american professional series it's really cool yeah, with you know, the combination so if i had I, that's a good Thing. I should probably put them head to head. Yeah, I've never do the done A B. That. Yeah, that's this cool. This one's just special and sentimentally. Does it jack with your the, the back one? of the neck? With, you I don't mean, feel it. Like yeah, it's I know. weird. It's like you've got gum on the back. I know. Of your neck. <laughs> but I just got so used to it, and we were playing it in summer festival heaven. So it was like hot and sticky oh. outside. But it was just my baby. That um, we but named them both. My band actually named them Betty Van Halen. Really? Betty That's... Van Halen one, Betty Van Halen two. My daughter's name is Betty, no so way. I love that. No way! Well, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So these are the Bettys. I hope she doesn't paint my guitars. <laughs> 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 and then carrying on the theme of Bettys, this is actually the red Betty. So oh. I love hollow bodies. I've always loved Damn. Um, Gretsch guitars. This actually made its first debut in my Waiting on You music video. Oh yeah. Um, but I just, I love being able to bring out like a few different flavors out on the road. Sure. And um, 
Wow. Okay. So is that a true? Is there a? Uh, is it a true hollow body? Is there a? No. There's the there's a center block. Oh, good. Well, that probably helps with the feedback because you it totally you're does. You're pumping at a pretty good volume. I'm pumping at a pretty good volume, yeah. which we'll get to in a minute. Yeah. But we'll cover that. But so. yeah, and being a hold on, boys. We'll <laughs> hold get to on, that. Everybody. Being a female <laughs> vocalist running a band, it's it's a thing having loud amps behind you on stage. Yeah. So um so so yeah we we have done different things to try to experiment with that but yeah it's uh the the center block definitely helps with with feedback wow. for sure what a great guitar i know she's yeah. pretty pretty right okay nice That's okay the red betty okay good you, you love always that. love a bigsby sure so uh this one is is a special one um so when i was little i started working with randy bachman from oh. BTO. Yeah, of course. Duh. Guess who? Taking care of business. <laughs> exactly. Come on. So Randy was the guy who first introduced me to Gibson up in Canada. I'm from Canada originally. Um, and when he did at the time, the head of Gibson Canada was a girl and she was like, I have the perfect guitar for you, Lindsay. And she came into the room and handed me this purple Les Paul. And I was like, if I play a purple guitar, people are going to tell me that I'm, you know, I'm crazy. Like it's going to look like a clown guitar. But it just, it started to become my thing. I was it known when I was awesome. little as the girl with the purple guitar and it's all thanks to, to Randy Bachman. It's super simple, it's like a junior, only one volume tone pot. Yeah. I mean, these are Burst Bucker pickups. This bridge is aftermarket from and Stuart it's, McDonald. And it's, a, it's, it's lighter, right? I mean, it's, it's like so a smaller. Light. It's chambered. Wow. So it weighs maybe six pounds. Wow, is the body like pounds. standard it's less thinner. Ball? Oh, it's thinner, that's The body is okay. thinner. The neck is tapered a lot. Like it's wow. it's super, it's That's super thin. That's really cool. But um, but yeah, she's pretty and it has like a nice oh, little but, volume. Sure, sure. Boost. So single coil is that is that like to get a single coil thing on it or a yeah? Split so coil? this one is like the volume boost and then this is like the coil tab. Okay, yeah. awesome. Okay, yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And then last but not least, I just finished this one a couple days ago. And so I, of course, it's another crazy paint job. And like I say, I don't paint, but, um, but oh, apparently you for do. every song <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've made sort of a rule to myself for every, every project I record, I want to paint something for it. So I just finished, um, doing my version of continuum. So this is the continuum project guitar. Wow. So Fabulous. I needed like a lot of emotions in one guitar. So I decided to do a dripping rainbow into yeah. like, you know, that's black. great. So it probably still smells like lacquer. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take your word on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And, yeah. And, uh, and that big seventy. I know headstock, headstock I right? That. It's yeah. uh, it's massive. Yeah, so. that's cool. And you painted the neck again. You didn't again. I'll probably get to the point where I'll sand it off. But sometimes <laughs> well, I you can always just skip that step. Paint and it. That's not true. Paint it. That's that's yeah. true. I know. Okay. Well, that is really cool. I love that. You know what you should so. do? You should actually. Okay, just spitball them, but you uh -oh. should probably do a series of those and like do them for St. Jude or something like that. That'd be oh, a huge me. auction. I have. Oh, have you? I've, I've, so I've given away a lot to, St. Jude is so close to my sure. heart. And I've given away a lot to charity, a few to fans, and actually uh, for a benefit last fall, they commissioned me to paint like a custom guitar. That's great. So I had to paint a buffalo on on this guitar because the, these this wonderful couple who spent like, 10 grand to buy a guitar yeah. painted by me. And I was like, I am not good at painting. Why would you want to do this? A dripper than a painter? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I go like this and I let paint drip. But um, but yeah, so so I love doing it for charity. So, I mean, hey, okay. you can get a custom random painted guitar for yeah. me at any point. Well, okay, <laughs> that is very cool. And what a cool thing to do. Yeah. Hey. Giving back. We give back as much as we can. All right. Okay, well, that's cool. Now let's talk not about this charity stuff. Yeah, exactly. Let's talk about, let's talk about gear. <laughs> let's talk about these amps. So this is... You're, you're a longtime Vox person, right? I love Voxes. Yeah. I mean, they're my backline amp to a T. Yeah. You know, if I need something and we're doing a fly date, I just get an AC30 and I know that I'll be happy. So sure. I have been a long time Vox person. Um, this is brand new. This is something that Vox just released. It's the AC30 112. I, I did a review of this amp. Did it's, you? Yeah. Well, perfect. You yeah. know probably much more than I do even about it. I know it's it. way lighter. It is the, so much lighter. Yeah, well, and from for me, 70 pounds to, yeah, like this, the, 
the full AC30 yeah. weighs like what you weigh. Well, it's <laughs> yeah. very difficult for me to load a full AC30 in my car. Yeah. So this is a lot easier. Yeah. And it doesn't have as much headroom, of course, because it's just 112 and so yeah. it breaks up a little faster. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the AC30 is like the loudest 30 watts in the world. I know. It can be but pretty punishing. There's something about it. I don't know if the, yeah. the darkness of it or whatever. I just, I love it and I've been playing them for years. Yeah. And so, so yeah, this one, it, it doesn't need to be as loud as, yeah. uh, as a standard AC30. Perfect. So you're running this in conjunction with? Yes, in stereo with my Dr. Z Z-Rec. Okay. So, um. Which. And you've got a cab on stage, but the actual amp is... So I have two cabs. This is just the show cab to yeah. make it look pretty. And then sure. I have the the actual cab it's running into backwashed. Yeah. And just so I can turn it up, because as we were talking sure. about volume on stage, especially when you're an opening act, oh, yeah. and you're you know right up next to the, the thrust, it can be pretty loud pretty quick. Right. But, um, but then I can crank my Z a little bit and get the real tone out of it. Yeah, that's where they like to be. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely where they like to Make be. Make it sound like an amp, okay. So I run them in stereo, and actually, I, I got to meet um, Z when we were on tour with Brad. Oh, yeah, that yeah, Brad is the Z he dude. He is the Z dude. So Z came to a few shows, and he was hanging out, and I was like, hey, could you wrap a Z Z-Rec in pink Tolex for me? Yeah. And he was like, I think I could do that for you, Lindsay. So he calls it Lindsay Pink. And um, and Perfect. yeah, so my my Z Rex are wrapped in hot pink. And Perfect. Yeah. They, subtle. It's yeah. very <laughs> subtle. Very subtle. Hey, if I'm gonna be a girl playing guitar, I yeah. might as well rock it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's. Uh, your last ingredient is your last fairly ingredient. modest pedal board. Let's so uh, talk about my this. My pedal board is pretty modest. Um, we we're in the midst of playing a whole bunch of different kinds of shows right now. So yeah. I want to be flexible. I've right. definitely had my big trailer trash pedal board and then my tiny little nano but this yeah. one at least it lets me it lets me change things out you know i have a drawer in here where i have like i have a dumbloid i have my extra clon my ktr i have a timeline yeah. i have an mxr because i'm obsessed about like a mid boost sure. i'm just obsessed about it and if an amp can't do it for me then i have that so um, these are these are like in the waiting like extra things yeah, and, just in case and i love all of them but but yeah right now um yeah, here, let me grab a guitar yeah let's talk about your signal flow on this thing so um we start from guitar going into this this wah and it's you're running just, a wireless system i am yep it's nice and loud now yeah that is nice and loud okay yeah my wireless is just a rack unit so it's this XD40 just okay, the under here. Okay, the Shure XD30 is in the in 40s in the rack. So yep. it goes from wireless to wireless to the wah pedal. To the wah, and what wah is that? A 535Q. Okay. And um, I I switched this one out to like the buddy guy wah. <laughs> cool. I've had it. I've had that one in my board for years, but it's just like. And even it sounds. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, love it. Love it. Okay. When you need the wah thing. Sure, when you need it, you got it. Um, I've become a huge fan of these archers. They're great. Yeah, we reviewed those as well. They're fabulous. They're fabulous. Yeah. I've I love the clon. I guess who doesn't love a clon? Yeah. But, but it's like it is unobtainable. Sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, all right, what else could I love that's close to the clon? Right. And and they're also big. They're so big. You're right. Yeah. Which on a board when I'm trying to do a bunch of different things that were for different shows, I need to switch out pedals. Right. Um, real estate is is. Uh, real estate is is not very available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I love this Archer. I actually leave this guy on most of the time. And you're running it before your um, volume. I is am. That, okay, yeah. Cool. I like to play with one. So I like to put like an overdrive before and an overdrive after. Yeah. Cool. So I have a little bit of you know. Sure. <laughs> use it like a clean boost yeah it sounds great love that. um and then volume pedal just yeah Ernie standard. Ball. Yep. sure and you're running the tuner out to that boss. i'm running the tuner yet yeah, just by bypass um i sure. actually have an extra tuner because 
you never can go wrong and right. I don't know why you, it's sitting there but you can't be too in tune too in tune you can never have too many tuners <laughs> sure I get it I get it yeah so yeah that's on all the time and it's easy because again when I'm running a band I don't have a lot of time yeah to tune or even like press a bunch of buttons so I just like kill my volume and I can tune sure time. yeah okay good um and then overdrive stack I love these exotic pedals Oh yeah. Um, I really like this BB. I don't know why it just it it breaks up really nice. I also like the AC comp as well as the EP booster. Sure. I had the EP booster on my board for years. It's in that drawer. But um, but yeah, it's just like really. <laughs> yeah. So it's you know it's Killer. just the amount of O drive that you need. Sure. Um, I'm I'm all about this reverb pedal. It's made by MXR. Oh, it's just enough. It's great. It's it's subtle. Yeah, and the expression option out is really cool too. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, that's more like tap dancing than. It is. It is tap dancing, and I mean, when I'm mainly playing lead, I don't even get to explore this pedal as much right. as cool as it is, but. For those clean tones, it's, oh, it's really, great. really nice. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, love that. Okay. Then, through the mass of uh, the Tangle Web, um, we have this Echoplex Dun great. Dunlop. So this is my lead delay. So I have a tap tempo, and it's literally as simple as that. Yeah. And then I run stereo out through my DD7. and. I know the DD7. I've gone through so many different delay pedals. I have the timeline in there and I love it. Yeah. But sometimes again when I'm when I'm taking things on and off, um, it's it's just easier to do a nice simple DD7. Sure. Yeah. Love them. That's yeah. great. Well that is actually a really modest board, but you're getting every tone you could hope for. So I know. It's it's pretty much like the the bare minimum of what you need, but it gets right. the job done. Yeah, it gets everything. Well, that's great. Hey, and also, um, how are you powering? Is it a Voodoo Labs pedal power Voodoo underneath Lab, that? Voodoo yep, yep. I have two of them underneath, actually, just because. Just in case. Just in case you need to add five more pedals under yeah. there. And yeah. then, believe it or not, for a B-Rig, I have an Axe Effects. Of course. Behind the <laughs> stage, because for Sugarland, we'll go up and do something at the end of the show. So, yeah. uh, so awesome. it's easier than wheeling eight things on sure, at once and so sure. I, I plug that guy in. One lean and mean. <laughs> well Lindsay can't thank you enough for joining thank us. Thank you so, so much. Yeah you're awesome and check out Lindsay does a column for us too. She does a, uh, do. a lesson series so yeah. read it. I know I do so thank jump you. in there. <laughs> Till next time. Thanks guys. Hey everybody thanks for watching the latest rig rundown. Guess what? Every week we upload a brand new rig rundown to premierguitar.com a full week before it's available here on YouTube. So to get your gear fix as soon as humanly possible, go to premierguitar.com forward slash rig rundown. And while you're there, be sure to sign up to get an email notification so you're the first to know as soon as each week's new rig rundown is available. Cheers. See you soon.